Hi, I'm Ryan, software engineer at Google Play. I'm here to tell you about changes we've made to user acquisition features in the new Play Console to help you grow your audience. You'll learn how improvements to time series charts, filters, and new dimensions, like returning users, can help you better measure your performance. We'll also cover how these changes impact your data and new benchmarks we're adding so you can identify more marketing opportunities. Let's get started. The first thing you'll notice is two new pages under Store Performance in the Grow section of the navigation. The Store Analysis page offers a high-level checkup of your store listing performance across different dimensions. When you need more information, the Conversion Analysis page lets you drill down across multiple dimensions at once. To better help you monitor your store listing's performance over time, we present your data in a time series view, so you don't need to toggle between cohorts like in the classic report. Now, you can more readily see what's changing, when, and why. We've introduced new dimensions, such as language and store listing, and also allow you to filter across different dimensions, like looking at search terms from Spanish speakers in the US. We've newly introduced returning users in addition to first-time installers, so you can now measure reacquisition. This is especially important for older apps. Most apps will see an overall increase in visitors and acquisitions because of the addition of returning users. Our refined metrics have improved deduplication to better reflect your store performance and concentrate on acquisitions that complete shortly after the visit, so you have data sooner to make more timely marketing decisions. We've also refined traffic sources to focus on search, explore, and third-party referral. To read more about these changes, take a look at our Help Center content, linked in the video description. Since you told us that benchmarks are important for making effective marketing choices, we'll soon launch extended peer comparisons. This will cover all traffic sources, including third-party referrals, as well as other dimensions and filters, so you can identify targeted areas for growth. We encourage you to use these benchmarks to find new marketing opportunities, like adding new localizations, custom store listings for specific countries, or testing changes with store listing experiments. I hope this video helped you understand how the new acquisition reports can help you further your success with Google Play. To get a more thorough walkthrough of all the changes, check out our Grow Your Audience session. Information about the session is linked in the video description. Give the new Play Console a try. And if you have any questions or feedback, please let us know. Thanks for being a part of the Google Play community.